like a bird. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I feel like it. <laughs> Morning, guys. So we're in Olu Deniz now. We arrived here late yesterday afternoon. And this is actually my second time in Olu Deniz. I came here eight years ago with my friend. But me and Kyle both wanted to come here again. Olu Deniz is famous for its beaches, its beautiful blue lagoon, and also paragliding. We did check out the beach yesterday. We just went swimming in the sea for a few hours. But today we're going to go check out the lagoon. And we're also going to find out about prices for paragliding. But let's go and get some breakfast first. One thing to know about Olu Deniz is that much like Bodrum, it is definitely catered toward tourists more than it is towards the local Turkish people. We did manage to find one Turkish breakfast on the menu there. So we've ordered that. We'll see how Turkish it really is. It might be more British, to be honest. We're also in a, like a really British pub with many British tourists. And there's like football chefs. And we're back in England, I guess. So it started out Turkish in the first half of the plate. And then we got to the chips or the fries. It's definitely like a mixture between a Turkish breakfast and a British breakfast. It'll do the job. It will. All right, breakfast is done. We're gonna go catch a dolmuş down into the main part of the town and uh, go check out the Blue Lagoon now. Alright guys, we made it down to the beach now and admittedly last time when we were in Bodrum we might have been a little bit negative about how busy it was and all the tourism and everything but today we're going into things with a bit more of an open mind because it is more natural and much more beautiful here than Bodrum to be honest. We know it's going to be busy and full of British people and... It was quite busy eight years ago when I came here and we know it's going to be packed and we've also got to pay for like sun lounges and stuff but it's really nice and we're just walking past the beach that we were at yesterday so it takes about five to ten minutes to walk to the lagoon which is on the other side. We haven't seen the lagoon yet. Well, I haven't seen the lagoon yet, so we're gonna go check it out now. And yeah, like I said, nothing but fun today. <laughs> nothing but sunbeds for days in this place. Everywhere you look, it's just nothing but sunbeds. But I think we managed to sneak one place where we can lay our towels down. I think Lauren's holding it down right now. Let's go see if she's got a good spot. There she is. Is this our spot? That'll do. So the problems I was having with the GoPro in the last video actually might not have been related to the GoPro itself and more with the SD card. So I'm gonna test it again today. We're gonna try and go swimming with the GoPro again. But before that, we got ourselves some drinks. As always. Some FS. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, you haven't even opened yours yet. <laughs> I promise we're not alcoholic. What a beautiful place. You know, the water is actually bluer than I thought it looked from the beach. It's really nice. It's turquoise. Last time Lauren was here with her friend Janine. Shout out to Janine. Shout out, Janizel. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to the island, but it, I don't know. It might be a bit too far. Yeah, I was over there last time. And there was a pontoon in the middle of the lagoon. We've got our bags this time, so I don't think we'll be able to go, unfortunately. Unless you want to just swim there right now. You can go, you can take the GoPro, I'll watch the bags. Actually going? Yeah. No, that'll take me forever. <laughs> don't be stupid. Guys, I don't know if you can see this, but I literally have the worst luck when it comes to swimming anywhere. Just like in Mexico, I got stung by some jellyfish. So apparently, there are jellyfish in the Blue Lagoon here in Turkey. It seems like you just attract the jellyfish. They love me for some reason. I really don't know why. We found the jellyfish. Did it sting you? No, I think it stung me out there, but it was like tiny. Did you just touch the top of it then? I'm just stronger than you. Oh my goodness. We're all done swimming in Blue Lagoon now, so we're gonna head over to the main beach here in Oludiniz. Swim for a little bit longer there until the boats start coming back in. A favorite, the pirate ships. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not actually sure which beach I prefer the most, Blue Lagoon or Olu Deniz Beach. It's really hot out today, like really, really hot. And Blue Lagoon water kind of felt like sitting in a bathtub, while Olu Deniz water is a little bit cooler. It's a little bit wavier, but it's just about the same blue as well. So I don't know, which beach do you prefer? I think I like this one more, but eight years ago, I liked the Lagoon, but this one's really nice. I don't know. Looks like we found the perfect place right next to the sea. This water is way muckier, it's way wavier, and you can't go out as far because it gets deeper a lot faster, but it's more spread out, and I think because of that, we actually enjoy it more. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, honestly, guys, I don't know what's going on today, but we're just in the water here, loving life for a very short period of time. Yeah, it's just swimming in the sea, and then all of a sudden I felt something swim up to me, and like I could feel its teeth going into my ankle. <laughs> that is not normal. I literally felt its teeth. Took a bite out of your ankle. The Olu Denise piranhas. So before we go do the last thing, we've come down here again to watch the pirates come in and take over the beach like real pirates. No music. <laughs> and Lauren's got herself an ice cream. And that's our cue to leave. So we're gonna go catch the Dolmush and hopefully there's a place here called Butterfly Valley and we're gonna go take the Dolmush up the mountain to try and go above Butterfly Valley to get views of it. It looks incredibly beautiful. We'll see if we can get there. That might have been one of the most amazing bus rides I've ever been on. Maybe one of the most amazing roads I've ever been on. The views are incredible and we only captured about half of what we could actually see. The place that we've come to here is just a viewpoint of Butterfly Valley. Can't see it yet, but I already know it's gonna be absolutely amazing. That's the view right there. Absolutely unbelievable. Better than taking those boat tours. As always, we're on a mission to get the best view. So we're currently climbing over rocks. It's a little bit dangerous, but we like it. And like Kyle said, this is definitely the view right here too. Wow. If you guys want to see how these pictures come out, follow us on Instagram. I think this is by far the most beautiful place we've been in Turkey so far. Lauren's upset because I couldn't let it go. I had to keep going. All these people posing for photos and they're missing the best place. Maybe these shots are getting repetitive guys, but I keep finding the best, best view. Except for this metal beam here. I don't know what that is. I should probably go back before Lauren kills me for this, but. Look at that. I think this place might be more beautiful than Valley of the Rocks. This might be one of the most beautiful places we've been on our travels. Insane. We found ourselves a nice little spot along the side of the road to watch the sunset. Right in front of the sun. So beautiful. And the open ocean. Yeah, check this out guys. Good morning, guys. It's relatively early. Today is a very exciting day. We're gonna go flying. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure on the size of that mountain, but that mountain right there is called Babada. And I believe that is what we will be jumping off of today. It's really hard to capture it on camera, but that thing is absolutely massive. It's really tall. <laughs> Hey guys, we made it to where we're gonna be jumping from and <laughs> it's crazy. I can't believe I'm actually gonna jump, but that's not even the whole view right there either. This is gonna be nuts. Lauren's a little scared right now, but I think she's gonna have a great time. Yes, you're my pilot. Hello. Take care of me today. I will. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> wow, man. Man, that was amazing. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed Thank it, you. Man. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Here comes Lauren. She was so nervous. I hope she had fun. <laughs> Nailed it. How was that? <laughs> I feel sick though, but it was so You feel cool. sick? A little bit. Aww. I'm so proud of you for doing that. I can't believe how high that was. It was insanely high. And it went really quickly, but it was amazing. Did he tell you how high it was? 4,000. He told 6, me 6,000 yeah. feet. Yeah, 6,000 feet, 2,000 meters. Wow. Unbelievable. That I just hope that footage sick. came out. That was insane. I'm so proud of you for doing it. All right, we're back on the ground now. We've come to get some... Gozleme. I don't know if I would call it our favorites, but one of the things that we enjoyed in a previous video. Yeah, I really like the chabrones. It is very good. We got potato cheese and spinach mm -hmm. this time. Do you have any final words on paragliding in Oladiniz? It's just amazing and I loved it. Really cool experience. Feeling a little bit queasy still? I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really cool experience. One of the coolest things I've ever done, I think. All right, guys, we're back from a short break. We've come to this other place here. It's called Kidrick Plaza or Kidrick Beach. We actually took the Dolmouche past here yesterday. That's the only reason why we know this place is here. Yeah, and it's super natural and wild. Too. Yeah, much, much nicer than the public beach in Oludeniz there, as well as the uh, Blue Lagoon. It looks so much more beautiful. We're just surrounded by all these trees right now as well. Yeah, you just have to take the <coughs> Dolmouche from the main town on the beach to a place called Feralia and just get him to stop on the side of the road. Yeah, it only costs us 26 Turkish lira for both of us to come here which is like a dollar fifty so we're gonna go check it out go swimming relax again for the rest of the day try and wind down from all that adrenaline <laughs> If you come to Oludiniz, you have to come to Kidrick Plaza. This beach is fun. As long as I live, I will be a grown-ass child. And that is the secret to living a happy life, I believe. So after about three hours of playing in the water and attacking the waves and the worst muscle cramp of my entire life, we are headed to our next place. And we're gonna go up this thing called the Telefarik, I think it's called. And we're gonna go up to the top of Babada Mountain, which is the same mountain we jumped off yeah. earlier today. And we're gonna go try and get a beautiful sunset to end our day here and end our time in Oludiniz. I'm sure it'll be really beautiful up there. I'm sure oh, it's gonna be amazing. Up there, so yeah. <laughs> Back up the Babada. Let's go, but this time, Cable car, no flying. <laughs> <laughs> We just got off the cable car and I have discovered that I am more afraid of cable cars than paragliding. How does that make any sense, hey? It doesn't make much sense really, but it happens. <laughs> Unique one over here. <laughs> 
Yeah. What's the chances of you going on the ski lift one? Um, I'll go on the ski lift, but I would actually prefer, believe it or not, to paraglide down again than to go down on that cable car. <laughs> I mean, I'm down to paraglide again. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> It's so hard to think that this is where we jumped from. It's crazy. <laughs> what were we thinking? I would do it again. Me too, actually. <laughs> I'd do it right now. <laughs> so I've convinced Lauren after watching all the paragliders and watching all the people ab above us here. We're gonna go up the, uh, I don't know what to call it, ski lift gondola? In Canada, it would be ski lift. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, I've convinced her to go up, so we're gonna go up there to watch the sunset. And we're off. Look how easy that is. <laughs> So much more peaceful than the gondola, actually. As always, I'm extremely curious and I wanted to go up to the top of this mountain. There's actually another place. I think it's 1900 meters above sea level. My leg's not feeling so great right now. Sunset's about to happen. So I think we're just gonna have a peaceful moment now and watch these guys paraglide from a different position. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, he's gone. She's, she's <laughs> I don't know why, but I find it scarier when other people jump than when we jumped. Yeah, that was really bad, that takeoff. <laughs> the guy was like this close to falling off the edge. That's yeah, ridiculous. it looks riskier on that side than where sure we jumped I'd from. I'd recommend that company. <laughs> I don't know what company it was. <laughs> That's the bad part. <laughs> Right, guys we decided we're gonna end the video here in what is probably the greatest place we've ever done an outro sure. <laughs> but thank you for watching guys Olu Deniz has by far been our favorite place in Turkey I think mm -hmm. so far this Definitely. has been incredible tomorrow we head for another new place we're gonna head towards a place called Kash and we're gonna do a bunch of things in Kash as well maybe no paragliding though mm -hmm. if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe I'll link our Instagrams down below see you guys next time